Okay, lesson number three of the store game is making numbers, which we've already done. So, we need another bead stair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we have our two bead stairs. So the child goes shopping. Obviously, this is an older child who's done lots of making numbers. Again, this is just practice. It's just a different way to motivate the child. Okay, so I really like my house, so I'm going to get my house. I'm going to buy my house again. So Mary, I want to buy this house. How much does this house cost? Um, so Mary, that house costs two beads that together make ten. Okay, so again, counting is totally fine, so I'm going to, hopefully I've made ten a bunch. Ten is a fun number to make because it uses all of the beads in your bead stair. So maybe that's a lesson that I should show. Okay, so I'm going to make ten um, out of five together with five. And I'll say, you are right, 5 together with 5 makes 10. Okay, let's go ahead and, and have making 10 be our uh, work for today. We'll kill two birds with one stone. Okay, so Mary, I want to buy this snake. All right, Mary, well, that snake is going to cost you two beads that together make 10. All right. So this time, Mary, I'm going to give you the 10 bead and the 0 bead because we know that 10 together with 0 makes 10. You're right. You get to keep that snake. Whoops. All right, Mary, I'm going to go shopping again. All right, this time I got the orange car. Vroom, vroom, vroom. All right, so Mary, that orange car is going to cost you two beads that together make 10. All right, the six bead and the four bead. The six bead and the four bead. You're right, they make ten. All right, ah, uh, Mary, this time I want this chicken. See this cute chicken? How much does it cost? All right, Mary. That chicken costs two beads that together make 10. And one way we play this game is uh, the child is on the floor picking out things out of the store and the teacher is walking around doing stuff like watering plants or starting dinner or brushing her teeth. Except We're not doing that at school but you could be doing that. Uh, changing the baby's diaper. And the child would bring the object to you and say, how much does this polar bear cost? And you could say, oh, that polar bear costs 10. And then the child would go back to where the beads are, find two beads that together make 10, and bring them to you, and you would count. Oh, yeah, you brought seven together with three. You're right, seven together with three makes 10. So go back and go shopping again. Sometimes we say you need to spend all your beads, all your money. All right, so we're using up all our tens. All right, so Mary, I want this elephant. All right, so the elephant costs two beads that together make ten. All right, so I've brought my you my ten and my zero bead again. All right. Mary, how much does this giraffe cost? Oh, the giraffe costs two beads that together make ten. All right, nine together with one. Nine together with one makes ten. All right, Mary, this time I want this goat. All right, this goat costs two beads that together make ten. Eight together with two makes ten. All right, this time I want this swan. All right, the swan costs two beads that together make 10. 
So this time I'm going to give you 6 together with 4 makes 10. You're right, 6 together with 4 makes 10. All right, just keep shopping. All right, I want this house that has a funny little red roof. Isn't that cute? How much does that cost? Oh, that costs. Two beads that together make 10. All right, how about eight together with two? Yep, eight together with two makes 10. All right, what else do you want? I would like to buy this horse. Oh, that horse will cost two beads that together make 10. So nine together with one makes 10. All right, you have one more money. All right, this time I want this warthog. A warthog. So that warthog costs two beads that together make 10. So look, you brought me seven together with three makes 10. You used all your money. Thank you so much for coming to my store. All right, we'll put everything back. Or maybe you get to play with these things for 20 minutes. We're going to set the timer and you get to play with all these things before we put them back. Uh, you can be flexible about what works for you. Okay, store game number three.